Well, making local news now, during last week's windstorm in the Ozarks, we brought you the story of a referee in Arkansas who was sent to the hospital after the, a light pole fell on him during a game. Well, tonight, our Francis Lynn spoke with officials at Springfield Public Schools and Missouri State University to see if this has been or could be an issue at sporting events here. Francis. Jen and John, both SPS and MSU say they've, they've never seen an accident like that on their sports field. They regularly inspect their facilities and monitor weather all the time. Our coaches, our athletic directors, our administrators, they continuously uh, are, keep their eye out for specific things that uh, may be issues. Travis Shaw with SPS says not only are their staff trained to look out for safety hazards, they also have another team doing inspections as well. Through our risk management team and uh, the insurance carrier that we have, they do a separate outside um, in annual inspection for all of our facilities as well as athletics. And so that's something that's comprehensive besides what we do on a daily basis to you know, having a regular inspection and maintenance program is, is key to that. So it's one of the things the university does is we've got regular inspection, both uh, internal as well as external. David Hall with MSU says they always monitor the weather. Anytime severe weather is coming in or that we have potential for bad weather, we make sure we're monitoring that and then we alert the campus whenever we do. And that's monitored whether it's games or whether it's practices. We do monitor the weather constantly to make sure that we're as safe as we possibly can. Plus, MSU has secured facilities so not anyone can go in and utilize them. We also have surveillance cameras so that way we can be monitoring it to make sure again that, you know, nothing's being tampered with. And with light poles in particular, Hall and Shaw both say they're in good shape. All of our poles at our stadiums are all have been replaced with steel and they're anchored into the concrete. Uh, where you'll see like, um, um, traffic lights and things like that, you'll see it to where they have a concrete base and then they're bolted onto that. Instead, instead these are much more like a, a fence post that goes all the way down into it. And we like that because it provides additional stability. The MSU sports fields have padlocks on all the gates. Only security and staff have the keys. Athletes have badge access to only one gate.